If you guys enjoy this content, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot and I would greatly appreciate it. If you would like access to more daily content from myself, please feel free to check out my Twitter feed and Telegram channel. Those links will also be in the description. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to my third YouTube video. Uh, in the last video, we looked at our criteria to what would make us bullish again on the lower time frames. Unfortunately, we didn't get that bullish price action over the weekend, but things are starting to look a little more promising today. Um, the first thing I wanted to do was review a couple of the charts that we looked at last week on Thursday and just give a quick update on their situation. So the first one I'm going to look at is Ave. Um, when we, I haven't cleared the chart here, I wanted to just kind of pick up where we left off. So what I was looking for was a flip of this 406, 405 area here. I wanted to, you know, reclaim this key level um, on the four hour time frame. Now we can see that price, you could argue this is the low, even though it was equal, still a higher low. Um, but what we wanted to see was this level flip. So we went sideways for a little bit longer than we would have liked, but the key thing is that we did not see a lower low based off this wick. So that was good. Now what we really want to see is still the same. We still want to see this level flipped back into support. However, if we don't do this on the first attempt and there is some kind of rejection here, we don't want to go any lower. We want to see a higher low formed. So the, where I'm looking at is probably somewhere around this level here. Um, we can see that this um, wick low became resistance. And if we can at least at a minimum hold this 346 level as support, it would give us a good kind of bit of structure to then make that next leg up and maybe break it on the second attempt. So if you really wanted to be aggressive with your entry, you could potentially enter on a retest here. But if you wanted to be a little bit more conservative, it could be that you wait for something like that and then enter there. So that would be the aggressive approach and the conservative approach, in my opinion. Um, what I'll be doing is probably waiting for the conservative approach. Um, and a lot of that comes down to what Bitcoin is currently doing, to be honest, which we will cover uh, later in this video. So another coin that we looked at last week was RSR. Um, what we wanted to see was this level flipped here. So we wanted this 0 0.051 level to be reclaimed as support. On Saturday, it was looking really promising. You know, it was one of the more bullish coins. Price broke through nice and strong. But then, unfortunately, when the whole market tanked on Sunday, so did RSR. Um, the good news is for bulls that uh, another higher low was formed and it retested the trend line as support. So that's good. However, now what we can kind of look at is where next. And for me, I'm kind of looking at this level here to now be reclaimed. You know, we made a new uh, higher high on the low time frame structure, which is around this level. So now we want to see some continuation and maybe on the next higher low, we can jump in on that retest there. But um, RSI definitely is one of the better looking coins in terms of structure right now. Um, I'd just like to see resistance be flipped into support, which was created over the weekend. Okay, so moving on to Big Daddy Bitcoin, and I'm going to clear the chart for this one as a lot happened over the weekend, but here are a few things that I've been looking at. So let's first of all mark out where we found support, which was somewhere around 43K. Unfortunately, that isn't the higher time frame 40K retest that a lot of people was looking for, but Bitcoin doesn't always give the most obvious um, retests. And a good example of that is when 20k uh, wasn't retested on higher time frames when we finally broke through them all-time high levels so um, we can't always rely on bitcoin to do the most obvious things however what we can do now is look at what we're dealing with and that is uh, a downtrend that has finally been broken we could argue that it's a falling wedge here and we've seen the breakout and now we need to mark out what horizontal levels we're really looking at 
for this to be a confirmed bottom and correction over. So what I'm looking at first is this 48 to kind of 47.5 kind of area. Um, this was resistance a few days back over the weekend. Unfortunately, we couldn't break through and that's what led to a lower low. Um, if we can flip this level, where am I looking next? And it's what we was originally looking at a few days back and that was around that 51k area. So there was some resistance here which actually led to a bigger move down. And luckily for us now, we've broken out of this trend. But what we really want to see is this 48k level retested as support before we see some kind of continuation. Um, I think this will be the um, entry that I go for. Um, I think that will be good to see that we potentially made a higher high. And then if we can back that up with a higher low, it will give a good entry for us to move forward in the long. However, one thing to be wary of is anything above 43K could be considered as a higher low. And what you don't want to do is enter here and then see a nice big wick down here to like 45K, be stopped out of your long and then we'll see the continuation. So just be careful when you're playing with leverage, it could be that a spot entry is best in that situation or even scaling your bids down so you see um, you know, you may originally enter at 48 and then stagger them up all the way down to 45 um, with an invalidation below 43. As If we are bullish, there is absolutely no need for us now to make another lower low. And the last coin that I'd like to take a look at is Polkadot. So Polkadot has been a front runner for the alt market for the last few months. Uh, that's why I'm kind of quite intrigued to, to keep my eye on it. Um, at the moment, we are seeing a break again of that downtrend and could argue there was a retest um, yesterday as support there. Um, what I like about it is that we've seen a number of uh, high lows over the last week or so. So, you know, that, that kind of structure is, is looking good for a reversal there. But what I really want to see is uh, a higher high. And to get that right now, what I'm looking for is something around this level here, at around 35 to 36 dollars, being flipped back into support. So we had a little bit of a fake out there, and then we've had it tested as resistance on a number of occasions, and that's where price currently is right now. So what I'm really looking for is something like that to take us back towards the highs and above. Um, $36 retest would be kind of my ideal entry in that scenario so uh, we'll just have to see what the market gives this week um, as long as if we get rejected again sorry what I would be looking for again is kind of like another higher low as long as we see another higher low then I wouldn't be too concerned as we'll start to see a um, ascending triangle form which I'm quite happy with them I'm, I'm quite a a big fan of ascending triangles in specific market conditions so yeah uh, today has given me much more hope that we have seen the bottom of this correction however i'm not getting too carried away just yet um, once we see bitcoin flip that 48k area back into support as we just looked at i'm sure we will see other coins follow suit and continue with the up only bull market that we all love so much um, if this video was helpful, please like, comment and subscribe as I'm planning to do at least a couple of these every week if people are enjoying them that is. I appreciate the support and I will see you in the next video.